some ionic compounds is kind of funny. And they need, in their ionic crystal, water absorbed from the atmosphere to really be able to form a proper crystal. And that's called having a chemical, an ionic compound, with a water of crystallization, or it's called a water of hydration, or quite simply, it's just a bunch of waters that are attached to uh, an ionic compound. Now, what do you call this ionic compound? Okay, this is copper 2 sulfate. Hey, Ken Guy, I just said copper sulfate, am I right? You are not right, because copper can have one, more than one charge. It's a two positive or one positive, and this happens to be the copper with a two positive. How do you know? Because SO4, sulfate, is a two negative charge. Two positive, two negative, makes that formula. So it's copper two sulfate. Now, I'm just using pH there for being different. You can use pH or F, either one's fine. Copper two sulfate, what do you see here? I see five waters, and so that would be penta, because penta is five, penta, and then water is hydrate. Now, not hydrate, hydrate, like dehydrate. Take away water, hydrate, water. Copper two sulfate, pentahydrate. Now, there is another way of naming that chemical, and you'll see both methods being used. This can be called copper two sulfate pentahydrate, or copper two sulfate water 1,5, which just means that there's one copper 2 sulfate for every five waters. So you can call it copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, and I bet you anything that that's what your teacher calls it because your teacher learned from another teacher who all, always used this system, which is the older system, still acceptable. But now the new system for IUPAC, the International Union of Applied People Who Do Chemistry, copper 2 sulfate dash water and then a 1 to 5 ratio. So you just say copper 2 sulfate water 1 5. That's another way of naming it. Most people don't use that one and they'll use that one.